this is the best EVO recruit deck. I'm going to be using it to go one step forward in our journey. This time the goal is going to be reaching Champion League. By the way, the level cap is right now 14, which means I have to upgrade my dagger ditches ons. But before doing that, let's see if we can get here out of those two tower troop chests. Here we go with the first one. We got the cannoneer. Okay, I'm fine with it. Please be dagger ditches. Please be dagger ditches. No, dagger ditches level 14. Thanks to the book of legends that I have used it in the last episode. Here we are on game number one, facing valley. By the way guys, I'm having some under level cards. For example, the lumberjack is just 12. But still, I'm having hopes. I'm gonna go with the recruits in the back lines. Of course, we must be facing one of those players. Firecracker, Mega Minion should deal with that. It takes two shots for the Mega Minion to take down one Firecracker. We are under level, but it's fine guys. A level 12 Lumberjack against a level 14 Mega Knight. Using the Mother Witch to spawn some piggies. We only got one piggy, that was definitely not worth it. I'll try to pull the Hog Rider into... Wait, I need to use the Fireball. Otherwise, the damage is just going to be so insane from the Goblin Barrel. Oh boy, not the best start for us because I just wasted 3 elixir on the Fisherman. Mega Minion in the back. Okay, so this is how you want to play this game. I'm gonna go with the recruit in the front. One recruit is connected on top of the firecracker. I'm not asking for a better thing than that. Going with the Fisherman just to be safe because I'm kinda not trusting that level 13 Mega Minion. Alright, nice defense by us. Hopefully the Fisherman might be able to... The Fisherman... I thought he's going to pull the Dark Goblin. Okay, he forced a Lumberjack out of me. Finally, we are in the double elixir where I can build a Lumber Loon push against this Mega Knight player. But firstly, we need to cycle back to the Lumberjack using the Mega Minion. I'm just going to fireball that. Oh boy. We took that much of damage just because of that one little push. I really don't know what to say. I have to go for it now. Alright, the fisherman here going with the lumberjack in front of the balloon, zap this, alright I'm gonna ignore the goblin barrel because why not, okay bro is defending the balloon with the hog rider, oh man that was so close, the hog rider almost defended his tower, so I'm gonna go with the mother witch now fireballing all of those, Fisherman just to make sure that we are not going to take so much damage and I think this should be it the first W let's go with the recruits in the back line which is my favorite way to start the game with it that will hopefully should get eaten alive by the dagger ditches in the right hand side you know what guys we don't have to always place the lumberjack in front of the balloon sometimes for example in here it is just better to go with a naked balloon the recruits are going to do a really great job tanking for the balloon for us and now we are having a big trouble. I'm gonna wait for a little bit till that Mega Knight jumps. And now going with the Lumberjack so that the other tower is going to attack as well. Using the Fisherman here to pull everything to the middle. Bandit. That Bandit almost activated the King Tower for us. That was a really flawless defense by the way. We took zero damage. I feel like this might sound crazy but just after me changing my name to Hush in the game. I become a better player. Literally the best way that I have ever spent 1k gems in it. Alright, a battle ram is coming. Looks like he's not trying to place anything in front of it. So I'm gonna go with the mother witch. Uh oh. We need to use our recruit as fast as possible. No, recruits, you are too slow. Did I just jinx it myself? Oh boy, look at the damage that we just took. That was so bad, but he used the arrows. I think he's dead. No, never mind. Using the Mega Minion right now. The Fisherman for pulling the Mega Knight. Wait. The Piggy. Oh, let's go. What a W Piggy that was. The annoying part is that I can never use my Lumberjack in offense because I need it to stay alive. You know what, guys? Screw it. I'm gonna go with a Naked Balloon. What he's going to do? That's a free Fireball value. Come on, Balloon. You can't do it. Oh my goodness, what a balloon shot that was. Respect for the balloon. Alright, Lumberjack in here. You know what? Maybe I should have used my zap. 
still not a big of a deal. The important thing is just surviving. All right, four recruits in the left. The recruits should stay alive. That just destroyed. Thank goodness for that fisherman. Literally came in clutch for us. And the two recruits in the other side tank it, which is not bad at all. Using the lumberjack now with the zap to make sure that we are not going to take any kind of damage. I am really a better player now. That was a really good defense. Bro is right now needing a miracle to come back at this final seconds. Using the fisherman right now. He tried that arrows mega nut jump trick but that is not helping you brother. 10 seconds has been passed and my opponent is still not doing anything. I am not used to this. And unfortunately my starting hand is so bad I am not having the recruits in cycle. I really cannot wait anymore. I am gonna go for it. Lumberjack. And the loon right now, the push that cannot be stopped. He spent 9 elixir to counter a 9 elixir, but will that be enough? The balloon still gets a hit. With that push, you will always get damage. Does not matter what the opponent is going to do. Will the fisherman? Oh boy, what a fish hook that was. Believe it or not, that level 12 fisherman is giving me a value like it was like a level 15 unit. I think now I understand which kind of decks we are facing. It is giant double prince, a really old deck in the meta. I have to damage down that giant before it gets on top of my tower using the lumberjack, the fisherman to counter the dark prince. Are we good in here? Will the next tower? No, the other tower is not targeting the mega minion, that's bad. Uh oh, I have to zap the musketeer. Okay, looks like. We just got a game, guys. Okay, I'm gonna split my recruits. Just like that, four on the right because I want to take down the giant as fast as possible. He uses the Dark Prince behind the giant. I'm having an idea. I'm gonna use the Lumberjack right now and that should tank for our recruits so that they are going to be safe. Fisherman in here. Giant is down. That was... A nice fisherman, but unfortunately the arrows took down him, which means we have to spend some elixir to take care of the prince. Using the balloon right now, I am sure his musketeer is not in cycle, but the mega minion... Wait, will the balloon... <laughs> it is so ridiculous how the balloon can always hit the tower when it is at 1 HP. Alright, another giant push is coming. I'm once again going to use the Lumberjack in the front. You know what, maybe I should have not used the Lumberjack in the front. That is a normal prince, not the Dark Prince. Oh boy. That giant is going to get some hits on top of the enemies, on top of our tower. That one little piggy. Look at the piggy. The value from him is just insane. Distracting that prince is so valuable for us. Okay, I'm gonna go with the evil recruits on the bridge. Now going with the balloon and that is a really big push. Musketeer and fireball are not in cycle, only the mega minion and I really don't think that is going to be enough for you brother. Actually it was enough for stopping the balloon but the recruits, the death bob of the balloon and that's it. GG's. A good news, we are only one win away to reach our goal. If you are one of those players that are wondering why I am not showing any kind of losses, just look at this. Do you see any kind of losses? Don't look at that. That's a different deck that I played it in a classic challenge. The thing starts from here. We are right now at 11 win streaks. This deck is just so OP. Our final victim might be someone with the name of Efi bro. I'm just going to leave the barrel. Oh, oh, I actually can't leave that barrel. The knight is tanky for the skeletons. Oh boy, this is going to be some really insane amount of damage. We took a thousand damage from the start of the game. That is not a good way to start a match with it. But let's look at the bright side. He's probably gonna do something about the left hand side because there's a mother which in there. So I'm gonna go with the right. Bro is dead. He's probably at zero elixir right now. And that balloon is going to shred the tower. I will go with the mega minion against the barbs. The mega minion is flying so there's no need to be scared about him. You know what? This is kind of looking scary. I'm gonna go with the lumberjack as well just to be safe. Zap. Is ready right now. Zap this. 
The rage from the lumberjack just came in clutch. Okay, nice defense by us, and his tower is almost down. Okay, bro is a straight up mad lad. I'm gonna fisherman the knight, and fireball is ready for the barb just after the ram goes down. I defended that as best as I possibly could. We are facing a really aggressive opponent. Hopefully, Mother Witch should get some really decent amount of value. Okay, that is four piggies. That can definitely take down the enemy's tower if he does nothing. We forced out the evil barbs. Now, bro is in a really big trouble. Now, I can just go with the evil recruits in defense and he has nothing for like stopping them. Like, the evil barbs were the only thing that was good against the recruits. Alright, that was a nice defense. You know what is funny? For example, when you run a deck like Hawk Rider, you have to make some prediction to make sure that your Hawk Rider is going to at least get one hit. But with this deck, all you have to do is just spam the bridge with the Lumber Loon. And you don't have to even look at that side that the Lumber Loon is going in it. Just focus on defense. For example, right now, I'm just gonna try to focus a defense in the right hand side. Using the Mother Witch. Zap this. And look at that, guys. East Tower has disappeared in the left. I told you. The fisherman to make sure that we are not going to take so much damage. Not a bad defense. We are still alive. You know what, guys? I'm just gonna try to trick around this guy. Alright. I really don't think we will be able to trick around him easily. Maybe if 30 seconds was remaining, I could have done that. But anyways, G to the G's. That's it. We have done it. If you want to continue this series with me, subscribe and see you in the next one.